let's learn more about validations and let's learn how to display the error message for any specific field so as of now you will see we are having this required this one is also required but let's say i want to add a validation on this number of pages as well so here we are this is the number of pages and here let's say i want to add max the max would be only 1000 and the minimum should be let's say it is 10 and let's add one more validation over here on this title that is the max length the max length should be let's say it is 10 so we are having few validations on these fields this first one is having two validations first is required and the max length the second one is having this required and we are using two validations over here on this number of pages okay so by default as usual this is disabled and if i'm adding so many things and clicking outside you will see again you can see that the color is red it means there is some problem over here let's learn how to display the error message for all these specific fields in the previous video we have discussed that there are a few properties that we use for this ng form in the same manner there are a couple of more things that are available specific to this particular field and we can get the details by using the ng model attribute in this case so here let's say i'm creating one template reference variable for this input type is equals to title let's say it is book title okay and let's provide the type it is ng model to view the details of this ng model we can refer to the angular website the official website and just like you are using this ng form here we can search for ng model and let's duplicate the tab actually because i want to compare few things and here i'm searching for ng model good here we are okay if i scroll down a little bit there are so many things that you can do with this ng model you can use this name property to provide the input attribute and if you want to check whether the control is disabled or enabled you can use this is disabled models there are so many options that we can pass but i'm much interested in these properties which is this valid and invalid just like we were having two properties in this ng form valid and invalid in the same manner we are having it here in this ng model level as well so where is that book title here it is i want to see more details about this book title so let's enable this hint and over here let's use this book title so what i'm doing book title dot valid just save the changes go back to the browser and here you will see that it is true it means this is a valid one if i am removing the value like this you will see it has been changed to false it means this is not valid now so we can get the benefit from this property and we can display the error message okay so let's just cut it for a while and here let's write the message so so i'm using this material hint to display the error message please enter the book title okay so again let's verify the changes on the browser it is visible by default and if i'm removing it then it is also visible but i want to display it only if the field is invalid i can do that easily by using one binding and this time i can use the hidden binding i want to hide this line if this particular input box is valid so we can use this book title dot valid go back to this particular page and by default you will see that it is hidden we are not having any kind of message if i remove this book basically the value immediately you will see we are having this particular error message if i'm entering anything over here the message is gone the color of this error message is still black and i want to change it to red how can i do that so let's right click on this one use the inspect you can see it is having few classes that is this mat hint so we can get the benefit from this class just copy the name go back to your code and this is the css file here i'm using this matte hint and just use the color property and change it to red save the changes go back to the browser okay let's remove it and you will see we are having the error message in the red text at the bottom side everything is working fine like this now let's display the same error messages for other fields also okay so i can just copy this mat hint and here let's paste it and here we need to add one more template reference variable for this particular input box so i'm writing author is equal to ng model
and let's use this author over here and let's do the same thing here also in the third field here valid length is 10 to 1000 and let's add one more template reference variable so here i'm writing number of pages is equals to ng model and this nop i can use it over here like this just go back to the browser and let's see what we have over here you will see that this field is invalid so we are having this error message if i'm typing any name then it has been enabled for the number of pages if i'm removing the value we are not getting any error message because this is not a required field if we will enter any wrong value let's say here i'm typing one immediately you will see that the error message has been displayed the valid length is 10 to 1000 so it means you cannot enter the wrong value and immediately the button has been disabled as well so if i'm removing it we are okay with that because this is not a required field if i'm entering anything it should be a valid one this is how you can display the error message in your form